That doesn't look healthy. Yeah, it's fine. So last time, Ivy got injected with super steroids, and now, well... Now you gotta prune these things back in the winter, or they just take over in spring. It's a tree pustule. It happens. It's a form of fungus, it's edible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, these are the most <laughs> annoying things in the game, and I fucking hate them. They're Samusara. They're, they're Metroid. Met they're, they're like right out of Metroid. Yeah, those look a lot like what the uh, Game Boy sprites for Metroid <laughs> containers look like. Metroid, <laughs> whatever. You, I knew what you meant. Yeah, Metroid 2. For Metroids come in these weird containers, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that was the title um, of the game. Metroid 2. Metroids, they just come in these weird containers. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so the flowers are weird in the sense that if you, as you approach them, they start getting agitated and they will either randomly decide to shoot you immediately or not shoot you immediately. <laughs> it just depends on what the game's the fucking deciding that day. And, um. Like the plants carefully considering it. Yeah. So here I am, carefully approaching, because, like, steady, what if it actually shoots me? Steady. Okay, and it releases spores, and you can destroy the spores with the batarangs. And then you just punch them right in their guts. <laughs> they don't have guts, they're plants. They also have teeth, apparently, so who knows? Uh, no, it's just plant bits. Listen, you have to action roll... Past the plant, it's important. It's a combination fly trap and a uh, pitcher plant. Mm hmm. And I'm picking up the remote control batarang, which is actually pretty useless in this game. Wah, wah, wah. We're giving them a lot of shit when there's a literal, literal crocodile man walking around under our feet somewhere. <laughs> yeah. The water, Uncle. <laughs> yeah, I know that much. You went out yeah. to him and you kick him a bunch. <laughs> then you run away. <laughs> uh, if anybody hasn't watched them, please go watch the Dark Nut, uh, Dark Tomorrow videos because that joke will make a lot more yeah, sense. Just watch the ones with weird titles like Water Uncle, <laughs> or the one that's title should be a bunch of ubu puns, but it isn't. Or oh, no. don't watch them and save yourself like three hours of crap. It's closer to five, but yeah, close Gee. enough. Yeah. <clears throat> that game's not very good. Anyway, we can't go on the floor there because there's a bunch of, uh, I guess, spores or whatever. Oh, hey, look, a bunch of bodies. Yeah. Totally not Batman's fault. Nope, not Batman's fault at all. We didn't kill those men, not directly, so we're <laughs> Not directly. We're fine. <laughs> didn't see it, it's not illegal. <laughs> they didn't die when we were in the room. It doesn't count. It's complicated. Well, plants are a uh, multicellular organism. Unlike animals, they have a rigid cell wall that allows them to grow. <laughs> so what's Batman's policy on beating a man up so he's hospitalized but later dying in hospital? Is that on him or the doctors? I think that might be on him. Just notice that his little walkie-talkie there is fake. What if it is caused by a doctor actually fucking up? If it's caused by a doctor actually fucking up, that's the doctor's fault. Yeah, but he wouldn't be in the hospital to the doctor if not for Batman. Mm, good point, good point. Hmm. Where does Batman's responsibility end is what I'm getting at. <laughs> um, his knuckles? Hey, if his encounter with Batman sends a man on a bad path spiraling into addiction and drugs... <laughs> is his overdose still on Batman? Now, what got the man into the encounter with Batman in the first place? Hmm. Was it just random happenstance, or was it just, or was he actually stealing something? And what prompted him to steal? Was it greed, or is he stealing to survive? Fine, let's go the full out dumb moral choice question. He is, stealing, he is forced into stealing because of his shitty circumstances in life, etc., etc. He felt this was his only choice. And then Batman punches him and he dies in the hospital. Yes. Who is at fault? Society or Batman? The answer <laughs> both. Hmm. If Batman is in a trolley, 
that's out of control. There's one person on the one set of tracks and five people on the other set of tracks. <laughs> No, no, no. Let's be realistic Wait, here. Okay, guys, guys, guys. If a man look. is eaten by a plant monster because Batman couldn't save him, is that the plant monster's fault or Batman's fault? That is the plant fault? monster's fault. That is most definitely the plant, the plant does not monster's have fault. Thoughts or emotions. The plant just acts well, not on instinct, but on reactions. You can't blame the plant monster. Yes, you can, because the plant monster is being directly controlled by poison ivy. It's poison ivy's fault at this point. No, poison ivy's not in her right. Mind. Yeah, poison ivy isn't in a good state of mind. She's all fucked up on plant chemicals. She has, like, green skin and, like, bark. <laughs> we can't debate the fucking moral quandaries of Batman's no-kill policy, okay? Yeah, we can. No, We're doing we it right now. Okay, Lord, are you the artist for Batman Year One? No, I'm the <laughs> artist for Batman Dark Tomorrow. Not Dark Tomorrow, fuck. Uh, that Dark Knight Returns. Oh, I fucking hate that comic. I hate the artist for year one. Kevin Smith? Stop analyzing comics. It's mean. No, Stop wait. it. Kevin Smith anyway. was just a writer, wasn't he? Yeah. No, that was that was Frank Miller. Uh, which one did Kevin Smith write? That was the one he was making fun of, like, year one where Batman, like, pisses himself and shit. Yeah, that's the one Kevin Smith wrote. Yeah, but that wasn't year one. These guys were trying to disguise themselves as Arkham security guards, but fuck it. I mean, they're all dead anyway, so I didn't fall for it. Because we have to be security guards. They have the Arkham raincoat. You know what? Security guards have shoes and don't, s like, slump over all the time. They also don't carry around lead pipes, I'm pretty sure. And they don't have the same pants that the inmates have. <laughs> yeah. These guys aren't very smart. No, it's a really shitty disguise. Yeah, you will not mark the Arkham raincoat. Alright, I like to avoid as many plants as possible because they're fucking the worst. Look at me, I, I'm totally a security guard. This guy is actually probably one of the most annoying enemies in the game, even though he's only one sniper rifle dude. He can really easily see you. Where did he get those gargles, and why? <laughs> there are special sniper goggles, they come with the gun. <laughs> No, listen, I'm pretty sure he raided uh, Deadshot's locker somewhere along the line. Fucking tactical bullshit. Oh, that's a that one's for comic book. That man's people. blinking real fast. <laughs> if you climb up the stairs, he the will see you. The air is really dry. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, I'm guessing I was worried that he would see me or something. Batman, that's an enemy sniper. I don't even remember what I'm doing. This was recorded months ago. Okay, so he's looking away. This is the only instance where the remote control battering is any good, and that's why, <laughs> specifically this bit where I bought it. Oh, you. Yeah, the control it controls really awfully. I do not like that camera. No, it's <laughs> got a really awful camera. They improved the camera for two, but that's mostly because uh, in Arkham City... The remote control battering is like pretty much required for a lot of like Riddler shit. They've been improving them to got worse for some reason. Free <laughs> here, four just got weird. <laughs> I love how it turns really slowly, but it actually isn't in slow motion. Yeah, it's just moving real. It's just turning really slowly because there are tiny jets in it. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it, that's the only way he could control it. Tiny little jets. Yeah, goddammit, Batman, I told you buying the gyro jet is a bad, inve bad investment. Listen, it's not a bad investment if you have billions of dollars and it only <laughs> ca costs a couple of million. It's a dumb gun. Fucking gyro jet gun. <laughs> What if each bullet was a tiny rocket? Ugh. <laughs> Useless. Much like caseless ammunition is just solving a problem that doesn't exist. Mm. Or that metal storm gun. Rail guns are cool, though. Like, metal storms are out of business now because their gun was fucking dumb and useless. 
Yeah. <laughs> Can we all agree, though, that railguns are really neat? Yes. Yeah, railguns are pretty cool. Right? That's going to be a summer project sometime. <laughs> I don't think the police will like you doing that. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> just need a good high-voltage power supply. I'm just building a weapon that can shoot down planes in my backyard. No big deal. No, I just need a power supply, some capacitors, it's fine. I actually don't need that beefy power supply because you can charge the capacitors up in a parallel then discharge them in series. So here's a gimmick that only appears in this room in the main game. It actually shows up a lot in the challenge rooms. The gargoyles are now booby-trapped. If you land on one, it will uh, take a couple of seconds and then explode. So you can't really rely on the gargoyles to hide. However, this room does have a really good hiding spot that I love to abuse because fuck this room. Like, seriously, just fuck this room. I hate it so much. Shh, bad dreams. This this is actually the first... This is the room where we had the first um predator encounter, oh, remember? You say so. We crashed through the window? Oh, yeah, the glass ceiling place. Yeah, so it turns out that the back claw is really fucking good in this room because you can use the back claw to pull dudes over railings. Uh. And uh, you can just hide up here and... They they have no clue where you go because you, the roof is so big that they can't really keep track of you. <laughs> I didn't quite I didn't quite get that guy well enough, but I'll get this guy. Yeah, I was about to say you just pulled him down like yep. six Word feet. Play safety. No, oh god damn it! I didn't get that guy either. Listen, eventually it will happen. Why are you still in detective mode? Like it's not doing the wrestling thing where you <laughs> get pinned by missing a move off the top rope. There we go. He's gone. Jobless. You can tell because he turned blue while he was in the air. Yeah. So the reason I'm in detective mode is because this is way easier to keep track of when a guy's near an edge so I can pull them off with my fucking claw. Because, seriously, I'm not taking care of this room in a legit manner. I'm going to assume you doing that was to try to distract somebody. Yeah, I'm, I'm attracting them over to a ledge. And uh, later... Should have worn your harness! <laughs> it's fine. He didn't break his neck or anything. It's good. He's good. And listen, according to OSHA regulations, if you're more than six feet off the ground, you have to be wearing a hard hat, too. Workplace safety is no accident! <laughs> <laughs> OSHA's here for a reason! Oh, yeah, Rick. That's the best of your path, Ed version of those creepy Canadian uh, <laughs> PSA commercials. Wear your harness or Batman will kill you. Where they nail it the accident immediately before it happens. Then you see a woman burn her skin off. Oh, get it, that one. Christ, yeah. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Canada does not fuck around when it comes to PSAs. Okay, I can't reach that guy. He's too far away. I'm trying. I'm trying my darndest, but not gonna happen. I'm nothing! Leave me, please! Hey, this one would be really helpful if you had a weapon to push people off of ledges rather than just pull them. Yeah. Like, can't Batman just get a big old, like, air cannon, a, a giant <laughs> vortex gun? I just really don't want to deal with these guys. Ah! Hey, guy. A soft, comforting punch in the face. <laughs> All right, there we go, and uh. <laughs> always luck out, Tega. <laughs> anyway, that room's done. I hate this room so much. Uh, it was it's become a lot easier since I learned that trick of just hiding on the fucking roof inside of the building. On top of. Yeah. That's not how you use stairs. No. Oh, and something I didn't get to mention because I guess I wasn't paying attention or something. <laughs> Sometimes there were there are uh, these cryptographic sequencers that you have to do three in a row and also are on a timer because uh, Joker has like bombs attached to them. Hmm. Okay. They're not really that much harder. Hmm. 
How many times, I'm just going to guess at least once here, did you clear this room and then immediately forget about the bombs and grapple up to one of the gargoyles? Um, none, actually. None, no times. <laughs> yeah, you hesitated there. No, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to comprehend what you were t- trying to, like, paint. I was, I was like, wait a minute, what is the fuck is he talking about? No, there was one recording where I forgot to, like, disable the bombs first, but all it does is just keep the force fields up. Because I totally would have. Be like, yeah, room done. Trapple up to the gargoyle. Piss. So hard in here. Fuck, my recording. God damn it. Yeah, no. Ah. Nice try, Kalon. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. You had me going for about half a second, and I realized, no, this is not something that would happen when you fuck up with co- encoding. <laughs> I wanted you to put in, like, Hideo on the bottom left or whatever. <laughs> I might do that for the final version. Not now that we're talking about it. <laughs> you can edit me out. Yeah, this cutscene is oddly quiet. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's going. Ha <laughs> Joker! I'm sorry. Doing more war with us with a ghoul that's standard and. You were right, Mr. Jim. Oh man, how wacky. Mm. Oh, everything's different. Hey, z- 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 I actually how you doing? really do like this scene. This, this was. A nice surprise the first time I played the game. It re- At first I thought my disc really oh, was Scarface. fucked up. Hey. Yeah. Should I his name? Scarface? Yeah, at first I thought my disc was actually fucked up, and then I was like, oh, wait, no, the game's for start. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I get it. Okay. It's like we're not that different, you and I. Hey, Listen, this is crazy guy who has to get across the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I'm saying is the killing joke is good and cool. Yes. No, he's not. We really should feel sorry for him. If you're like watching this thread and you're not into comic books, hmm. which, um, okay, you're whatever, you're weird, but read the killing joke, it's super great. Yeah, Killing Joke's really it would have good. Been a lot, a lot more effective if they had, you know, bothered to make like alternate models of sane versions of them. Like Jonathan Crane used to be a doctor, and so did Harley Quinn. Joker could just be an orderly. Isn't that one of his? Origins? Here's my favorite thing about it. Here it is. They give you a fake tip. Use the middle stick to dodge the Joker's gunfire! Middle stick. Yeah! That's the best part! And now we're just on the standard bit. Eh. Well, that's the last time I do PA with being in an asylum. <laughs> yeah. Now, where's that windmill at? So we get to get a look at the different insane Batman. Uh, the plural of, plural of Batman is just Batman. Hmm. The plural of octopus is octopode. This is Batman, perpetually pre- plagued by mosquitoes. If you want to be a shithead. And here... Is Batman eating a rat? Yep, yeah, that checks out. Yep. Shove him off, nerd. If you want to be a real and stuff, you know, you can know the fact that Panini is technically a plural. If you're just eating one Panini, you're eating a Panino. Mm-hmm. Yep. And actually, if scissors is a plural, the uh, singular of scissors is shiv. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shiv self, actually. <laughs> More skeleton war. You'll never escape the Skeleton War. If one I want to escape it, that Clash of the Titans movie was pretty good. <laughs> the old one, not, not the new one. No, the new one's awful. Bubo's the best. 
<laughs> you totally want that boss to boobo. <laughs> I love... I love it when Batman quickly t changes into the Scarecrow during these fight scenes because it's just really funny to see Scarecrow doing flips and shit. See that dude who's modern, a modern Arkham Knight where he just plays his, he can just plays all the characters? So you can be like Croc, you can be um, Killer Croc just flying around the city. <laughs> These whole sequences still seem really unfun. Yeah, the, um, the gimmick got the gimmick just got stale the first time. I like the bits before them where they where they're fucking with you in the game, but these bits uh, not so great. I know I didn't like this one because oh, it's the also reversed. How fucking creepy and wacky. See, they should have just gone the extra mile and had like. Just normal, sane versions of the characters. And yeah. like I said, just Joker's an orderly, and you're like, oh, wait, is Batman actually insane? That, and you know, you know he's not, and this is just the game you're playing. Yeah, that would have helped a whole lot for that sequence. Just fucking put the effort in. I mean, they put a lot of effort in this game, so, yeah. They can't really fault them too hard. Yeah, this is, like, the one of the best Batman games ever to have released up to this point and also the last good Batman game was probably the one based off of the uh, the movie, the, the 1989 movie for the Nintendo so I can I can forgive them a little bit for not going that extra mile considering they'd already gone like an extra 20 miles for this game by this point it also means the plural of Nintendo is Nintendini <laughs> <laughs> this is the storm ranting. So basically, it means the whole time that Batman is doing this, he's just kind of standing around like a jackass, and Scarecrow's just looking at him. No, remember the last time we uh, we did this, we ended up climbing a clock tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we just saw he's just standing around. Just fall to the ground, foaming up the mouth. <laughs> Gently twist your foot. That'll take care of your arthritis. I'll dislocate the fuck out of you. Oh, wait, you're a skeleton. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it, I did not think this through. Batman, billionaire, vigilante, amateur chiropractor. <laughs> uh, no, that's exactly the opposite of what that means. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is a skeleton titan? And that was a skeleton titan? Um, good titan, <laughs> scarecrow. <laughs> It's okay, because the resolve is weakening. What shitty medical call should Scarecrow go to? Phoenix University. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was a psychology professor that got fired for being a really shitty psychology professor because he linked everything to fear. Well, Floyd Vic linked everything to wanting to bone your mother. Your mother? And yeah. he is hugely respected, so... He's not actually a... No, he's not. Not in the actual community. He was. He's basically he just a garbage be. man. He used to be, and now he's not anymore. He provoked a lot of discussion, but basically... Yeah, yeah. His shit is garbage. I said was. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I like how he reassembled himself so he could punch him. And if I didn't <laughs> say he was, I would go back and like commentary and remove that. <laughs> You don't have access to this commentary. I have access so, to my own files. Jonathan <laughs> Crane is kind of weird. He wasn't... Was he a chemist, or does it depend on which which origin we're going with for him? I don't know. I, I, I choose to believe he's not actually any sort of chemist, and this fear toxin is just PCP. Well, if he's just like... Uh, so it turns out that entire tripping out scene where we were fighting dudes, we were actually fighting dudes. 
I wish we could take out Titans that easily. Hot shit. Damn. But what if he's a psychologist, he wouldn't know anything about drugs. Yeah, so Fear Toxin is just PCP. It's like a mix of LCD, PCP, peyote, just all fucking kind of shit so, there. Psychologist or psychiatrist, which is he and can the comic writers remember which term is which? <laughs> Christ, if you're a scientist in your comic book, you basically do everything. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the uh, fuckhead Parker. No, look, fuckhead, like, Mr. Fantastic. Holy shit, that's even a worse example. Okay, he Tony is Stark. an excuse. He is literally a genius. He is, like, the most brilliant so man to ever So is Peter exist. Parker! Nah, nah, in comic books, Mr. Fantastic is, like, super, super, super genius. And again, Tony Stark's excuse is also he is straight-up Howard Hughes. Yeah. See, I know, like, two things about comics. Hmm, so, uh, this is foreshadowing for not two, but three games from now. <laughs> oh, was it? I missed it. I was busy yelling about Mr. Fantastic. It was, um, Scarecrow's plans to unleash oh, fear right. toxin across the entirety of Gotham. Oh, no, yeah. someone's crazy cave. Lots of crazy walls in there. Yeah. <laughs> but we are missing the, uh, red yarn. God, I want I want to have an excuse to have a bulletin board full of photos and red yard at some point in my life. Yep. I know, right? Everyone needs a good crazy wall. <laughs> Joe Sweat's for best to him for that. <laughs> Harder than that. Fuck off. Both the interview tapes came on. Nah, I can't cup him with a better term. At least not um, on this short notice. Nope. Dang. Crazy wall is a good term. I stand yeah, by crazy. it. Accurate. Succinct. <laughs> so, in a desperate attempt to not buy any health upgrades, because I don't need them... Uh, we buy the proximity de detonation, which I actually think is a downgrade for the explosive gel, because now it explodes whenever somebody gets close to it as opposed to when you want, which is, I mean, I guess it could be useful, but I actually don't like it. I think it is, an, it is not an upgrade at all. So, you're not a fan of a Co product, so you can set it and forget it. <laughs> Oh. Now you've put it. You've put some around, and Mr. Commissioner, Commissioner Gordon walks in the room. Batman, how you doing? <laughs> no, Gordon, no. That's how Gordon talks. Hey, how you doing, Batman? <laughs> uh, Batman I'm Commissioner how's it going? Gordon. Hi. How's my crippled daughter? Hey, guess how many women I fucked today? <laughs> Fuck. That was still... Yeah, I'm right up there with you where that's just, like, not necessary. Yeah, it's... I... Fuck. That comic's just weird. I don't know. Did you just knee him in the balls? Yeah, I did. So what What are these boxes for prisoners uh, trying guns. to get? Guns. They're labeled guns. Yeah, oh. they're, they're trying to get into the guns. I don't want them to get into the guns because... An enemy having guns in this game is just the worst. It's like Karen to keep a dog out of his treats. It's like, no! <laughs> no! You turn around and you hear rattling behind you, no! No! You stop that bad dog! And then you break their arm. 